be alive. Good evening and welcome everyone, dear teachers, students and the speaker of the day, Mr. Avinash Rade. Dear students, I feel privileged to announce Learn From Home webinar series for other medium schools following my English course book 10, organized by MNIC with the technical support of INET Connect, featuring speakers like Dr. Manjushri Sardesh Pandey, the chairperson of the Board of Studies, Balbarti Pune, Mr. Nadeem Khan, Academic Coordinator of Chef Ra Aurangabad and Board of Studies member Balbati Pune, Mr. Avinash Rade, Board of Studies member Balbati Pune, Mr. Mahesh Dudhankar, Board of Studies member Balbati Pune, Mr. Bhuvanesh Kumar, Board of Studies member Balbati Pune, Mr. Pundalik Kaviraj, Board of Studies member Balbati Pune, State Resource Person of Chess Ra Aurangabad, uh, Ms. Mrs. Nandini Patkar, State Resource Person of Chesra Aurangabad. Learn from Home webinar series has started from 31st of August 2020 and is going to continue to 17th of September daily, except Sundays at 7 p.m. This series will provide a wonderful platform to know and understand your English activity series. I request all our participants to be a part of this series that would guide you to see your, uh, deal with your English Academy skills according to the state board norms and criteria. And today we have with us a very magnificent personality, very sincere and dedicated, uh, and uh, he is Mr. Avinash Reddy. Sir has been teaching English to standard 9 to the 12 at Lal Bahadur Shastri High School, Manor. He is a member of Board of Studies for Standard 11 and 12 Yuvak Bharti English course book for the state of Maharashtra and also the textbook writers for the state. His purpose of education has been to build leaders. Thus, he has been a resource person for teachers of Palghar Taluka at primary and secondary level for English course book for Standard 4 to Standard 8. As a resource person of Maharashtra, he has conducted training programs for teachers of Standard 9 and 10 on the revised syllabus. Presently, he is working as a state level resource person for standard 12 teachers for the introduction of the revised syllabus and evaluation pattern. He has been working as a resource person for the junior college English teacher at in service training program. At the young age of 26, he has begun his journey uh, teaching, uh, teaching teachers almost twice a day, and since then, there has been no looking back constantly on his toes, organizing English programs and workshops for teachers. He endeavors to create dynamic teachers reflect in the fact that he has worked as a master trainer for British Council for primary teachers and for Yashada, an epic training institute for Maharashtra and RMS. Having awakened joy in learning amongst his own students, especially those from the Adivasi background, he is also a guest lecturer for standard 10 and standard 12 students in many school colleges and organizations. He has been working with the Wale Trust and each one, each one organization since nine years for coaching English at standard 9 and standard 10 students. Presently, he is working as the president of Palka English Teachers Association and a treasurer of registered association of the English teachers of Maharashtra Welfare. By introducing spelling competition in remote areas of Maharashtra, he has made English language a child's play with innovative interactive session. Sir is also the recipient of the Best Teachers Award from the Maharashtra Shikshan Seva Konkan region. Sir Avinash Rade, we welcome you and we are very, very happy and gratified by your presence. So I request Sir to please take over the session. As sir is going to say question number five, uh, that is informal lecture. Thank you, ma'am, for this wonderful yes, one uh, exaggerated introduction. Uh, I'm presenting my screen right now. Is it visible? Uh, 
मैम इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल टू यू हेलो यस सर इट्स विजिबल एनफ यस यस सर इट्स Uh, yesterday we had a session about the letter writing uh, and uh, renu ma'am dealt with the formal letter today we are going to deal with the informal letter writing so today we'll begin with the instruction so let's find out what is the instruction this is a, a activity sheet from last year's uh, examination when we read it uh, i'll read it for you question number 5 a letter writing and the common instruction for a1 or a2 is Imagine you are Anandi or Anand Ravi Jadav from room number G O seven zero, Sri Ram Nagar, Panchavati Nashik, four two two zero zero two. You have read the following advertisement regarding no plastic campaign. Now I am telling one letter from the following. Now why have I started my session with the instructions? Because this is the beginning of uh, writing the informal letter. So here. what needs to be done first that you will read the given instruction carefully after reading the instructions uh, we'll have to find the name of the writer and the address can you tell me what is the name of the writer the person who is going to write the letter his name is already given in the introduction so what is the name can we get the answer on uh, youtube or uh, in on the thing who is supposed to write the letter if it is a girl there is different name if the writer is a boy there is a different name so uh, i am not getting your uh, responses directly uh, by the time renu ma'am gives me the responses yeah we have not got the response yet yes but when will uh, students read... have to give the response who is writing the le letter Who is writing the letter after reading this instructions? Find out the Anand. Name. If uh, Shivani is saying Anandi, Very and Manjusha is saying is Anandi the... Ravi Jadav. Sure, sure. This is the first step toward writing a formal letter. So the writer is either Anandi Ravi Jadav or Anand Ravi Jadav. Okay, and along with the writer's name, we have to go for the address. And the address that is also given here, and you find that the address is room number G four seven zero Sri Ram Nagar Panchavati Nasik four two two zero zero two. Right. So in this way, you are collecting the information from the given sources. You don't have to read or you don't have to by heart any letter. Just find the details that is that are given in the activity sheet, and with the help of those details, we are about to write the letter. So we find that the topic is also mentioned in the instructions. So can I get the topic of the letter? Yes, students. Write the topic of the letter. What is the topic of the letter from the given instructions? These are the common instructions. They are same for the formal letter. They are same for the informal letter. So what is the topic? students write the topic so when you think about the topic whenever you uh, read the instructions carefully and you think about the topic the related ideas will come to your mind no plastic campaign manjusha joshi say so sure, sure. the topic is no plastic form campaign and here we find that this is a well beginning and when we begin well it's a half done So sometimes some extra information is provided. Can you give me some of the extra information that is given here? Will you will you be able to locate some what? extra in information, students? Little. What is extra? Something. Advertisement is regarding yes. no plastic. Yes, it's a, the source of this information is an advertisement, right? so we have found these details after reading the first part okay now we are moving to the next part so here you will find that the uh, advertisement that is given in the activity sheet is at the left actually it it was in horizontal but i have kept it in a vertical manner so that we can get the details on the on the right track so here you will find that on the left we have the advertisement and on the right we have the collector points from the given leaflet brochure or ad and we have to add more details 
by so far we have uh, collected the name of the writer the address of the writer the topic of the lecture and what is the source of the information so here when you find it the chat is uh, the title is say no to plastic rotary club nashik 4th april 2020 time 9 am and the related information is also given here you will find that the effects of plastic and there are a b c d four points are given when we read the first point it says that plastic takes 100 years to decompose the second point says plastic harms marine life the third point says plastic disturbs the ecosystem and the last point tells us that the plastic causes flood so these are the uh, points that are given to us now from these reflect also from this advertisement also we are going to collect more points so can shall we start beginning the point getting the point so here you find that the slogan the slogan is say no to plastic is it there when i ask for you the organizer who has organized this who is the organizer of this campaign who is the organizer who has organized this campaign yes the name of the organizer is rotary club of nashik okay and when we go for the more details the date and time is the date is 4th april 2020 and the scheduled time is 9 in the morning it's 9 am so by so far we have collected a lot of information and we have to write about the plastic bag now here you will find that the first point that i have used here after the date and time is about plastic so this point is not given in the advertisement but yes we have to add our own points we have to add more details so when we think about the plastic we have to write a general or two or three statements related to plastic so here i have used some of the points that the plastic use is there in every task you can mention the use you can mention the types right uh then what is the nature of the plastic it's an artificial product it's a man made product it's not a natural product so these details are not given in the advertisement but yes right from getting the information from the instruction and the leaflet or the advertisement i have thought about the related points and these are the related points why why is there a need of writing the or having the campaign so plastic is hazardous okay what are the reasons now here there are the reasons effects of plastic we have to think about the effects of plastic now we are getting the points from the given uh, points given in the advertisement the first point is plastic takes 100 years to decompose now the supported details are whatever plastic we use we throw it in the garbage there is no control in garbage uh, collection or there is no control in use of plastic and we don't reuse the plastic so the related point is this and that's why if we reuse the plastic so there is no need to decompose the plastic if we control the use of plastic so we did not go for the decomposition so here these are some of the related points when we go for the next point it's an alarm to marine life why is it an alarm to marine life the related points are the plastic flows with water we have already talked about the types of plastic what kind of types of plastic do you think we use and they flow with the river can we get the answer no nothing what what uh, things made up of plastic do you find in a in a drainage area in a gut uh, in river there are carry bags there are straws there are wrappers there are small bottles there are so also there are so many of the things you can think about your own 
and ultimately when all of these uh, things flow with river they go in the sea right and some of the marine animals they don't know whether it is an edible thing or not they just eat or they die or sometimes you you have seen that some of the sea animals they are also get tangled into all these and they are not able to uh, get free so, from them the is saying bottles dilip yes. is saying utensils ajinkya is saying bottles and carry bags very nice so this means you are on the right track when we go for the next point it disturbs the ecosystem that means it disturbs the land pollution it, it causes land pollution as well as the water pollution you have to add more and more things like how does it uh, cause land pollution how does it cause water pollution so we have to think about these points and the last point is the causes of flood it blocks the drainage and as it blocks the drainage or river it causes flood right so by so far we have all these points and after getting the point from this you can have the right uh, when we had the uh, earlier session at that time i have already said that we can go for the rough work and as we can go for the rough work uh, we will uh, use the rough work here so here you will find that this is the information now uh this is it the instruction that is given to us a1 informal letter write a letter to your friend inviting her or him to participate in the no plastic campaign using the information given in the advertisement you may add your own points now from this instruction also we are about to collect the information who are we writing the letter to we are writing the letter to a friend now is the name of the writer friend or the uh, anand or anandik friend's name is given there no the name is not given here so we have to think about any ideal name or whatever name is in your mind you are about to use that name what is the reason why are you writing the letter you are not just giving the information about the campaign you are asking your friends to participate in the campaign so we find that this is what is at our disposal now by so far we have collected all this information right uh, who is writing the letter anand or anandi ravi jadav is writing the letter what is the address of the writer its room number d 470 shri ram nagar panchavati nashik port to dilgan to what is the topic no plastic campaign what is the source of the information advertisement what is the slogan is say no to plastic who has organized the campaign rotary club of nashik has organized the campaign uh, what is the date the date of the campaign is 4th april 2020 when is the campaign going on or when when do we have the campaign it's at 9 am now uh, there are some of the points we use plastic in every task we use plastic to carry the thing we use plastic to cover the things we for use plastic for transportation for storage the uh, um, what is say the liquid so we have various types of plastic we have bottles we have bags and so many of the things we can write about all these things what is the nature of the plastic plastic itself is a man made product it's an artificial okay so why is it Uh, a need to think about plastic because plastic is hazardous then why is plastic hazardous because there are worse effects of the plastic now we have already thought about all these points so if going to the information again and again and when you go to the information again and again you you get the idea how am i going to write how am i going to frame my letter so here the next detail is you are writing a letter to your friend we will have to write to your uh, the friend or his or her name and the reason is participate in the campaign so by so far we have collected the information now let's come to the format of the letter here you will find that in the view box there is a format of the letter so uh, my name means as i am writing the letter so i if i am about 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 to write a letter i will collect point number 1 and what is the point number 1 students 
Will you please tell me what is point number one? What is point number one? Students? What is point number one? You can see on the screen, the point number one is the name of the writer, Anand or Anandi Ravi Jadav, right? The point number two is addressed here. Uh, it has already taken, so point number two, three, and four, they are- uh, Writer's name. The writer's name, right? Then we will uh, divide our paragraph into, uh, we will divide our letter into three paragraphs. So the paragraph will consist of general and tell about the advertisement that yes, I have read the advertisement and all these things. Then uh, in paragraph one, we will cover point number five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is number five, six, seven, eight, nine? That we'll have to talk about the topic, the advertisement, right? Then the slogan, the organizer and the date and time. So it will consist of the first paragraph. We'll move to the next paragraph. The next paragraph will about the plastic. That's why we have points number 10, 11, and 12. So what will we write in the second paragraph? In the second paragraph, we will write about the plastic, the nature, and why is there a need to uh, have the plastic campaign, or campaign regarding the plastic. And in the paragraph number three, we will write about all the all those points discussed in point number three and the concluding paragraph will be an appeal and there will be a closing sign so in this way from the reading of the instruction to the layout this is a layout of your letter now uh, just mind it well that it's not a, it's a mental layout right now it's still in your mind whether you want to go for the rough work you can go for the rough work but don't forget to mention that this is rough work Right? Otherwise, it will be assessed by the teacher. You can have the rough work, but just mention that it is a rough work and then you go for the uh, actual writing. So this is the general information. And now, uh, as we are running late of the time, we have already covered half an hour and we need to discuss more and more. So I have already given you the model. You will find that uh, this is the lecture, right? So my name is real written there. As I'm a boy, I'll write Anand Ravi Jadav. The second paragraph or the second detail is address. I haven't written address, the name, the word address. I have directly written the address, room number D47, Sri Ram Nagar, Panchavati, Nasik, 42002. Then salutation. We have to think about it. What is the salutation? Dear friend. You will find that uh, in the salutation, dear friend is here. So here I have written the name of my friend, dear Rohit. We have already talked about the paragraph number one. So here you will find that the paragraph number one consisted of information about five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means topic, source, slogan, organizer, and data and time. Here you will find that the general statements are, how are you? We haven't taken each other for a long time. These are just simple statements. I, I'm not making complex statements. I have not written complex statements. I read an advertisement in Daily Dish Tour yesterday about no plastic campaign. If you find that you are not able to frame a longer sentence, you can write smaller sentences as well. How are you? I haven't received a letter. We haven't talked to each other. I read an advertisement, full stop. Dad was in uh, daily they should full stop. I read it yesterday, full stop. The ad was about no plastic campaign, full stop. Those who are not able to frame a longer statement, they can uh, frame smaller statement. Because uh, your uh, actual creation is to be shared. It's an initiative of Rotary Club of Nashik. So this is a, some of the sophisticated language, but you can say that, okay, the campaign is organized by Rotary Club of Nashik. You can have the alternative statement. This is just the model. And it will take place on 4th of April, 2020 at 9 a.m. We need to gather at Golf Club Ground, Nashik. Now, here, you will find that some of the details are there. Okay, campaign is there, but where are we supposed to gather? That is not given. 
so I have added one more point that the place is the destination. Over paragraph number two, it says about the plastic and then uh, nature and why. Okay, so you will find that uh, as you are writing the letter to your friend, then you are asking your friend to think about uh, the anti uh, the use of uh, the plastic should be banned. That's why you need to add some of the details. You need to encourage your friend. You need to persuade your friend. That's why I have written a few statements. I know you are a nature lover. You are aware of the menace of plastic. We use plastic everywhere. It is used for every task. We use it for wrapping, carrying, and so on. It's an artificial man-made product. It is made for our convenience, but as time passes, we find that we do not dispose them in a proper way. There is no control on its use. We do not reuse or recycle it. So, by collect by using all the information that we have collected, I have framed the paragraph number two. When we go to paragraph number three, it's about the main the main body of the uh, lecture. So plastic does not decompose quickly. It takes more than a to decompose. It lies in our environment till that time. It's an alarm to the marine life. It flows with rivers and gates into the sea. The sea life is disturbed. Many sea animals eat plastic and get tangled in plastic debris and end their lives. On land, it lies unattended. It disturbs the ecosystem. It is responsible for the pollution and spread of disease. We know that as plastic is, plastic is left, the plastic bottles or carry bags are left unattended. Uh, during the rainy season or somewhere, uh, we find that the water gets into all these plastic products. And from there, we find that there is a spread of diseases, the mosquitoes and all those things. It blocks the drainage system and rivers. The rainwater does not flow, it causes floods and disturbs the life. So this is the uh, very simple language that I have used. And even if you use the simple language, you will be given credit. You are about to use the given information in your own words. There isn't any kind of sentence. You can, you, you can just expand your thing. And the concluding paragraph will be the appealing paragraph. Here you can say that I wish that you should participate in the campaign. Your contribution will help the people. It will be a good chance to serve mother. Please be there for the campaign. So this is a request from you to your friend Rohit. And the closing sign is uh, your loving friend Anand. So in this way, your letter should be appeared. Now I'm waiting for a while. I will be on this slide for one or two minutes. And if there are any questions regarding all this, I'm uh, expecting the questions. Then, uh, ma'am. Sir, there was an issue. Yes, ma'am. Uh, they cannot see the screen. Oh. Students, hold your mobile horizontally. Yes, you will have to, to be to able to see. Mobile horizontally, and this is what is the. <laughs> Now you all can see. Keep your mobile on horizontal mode. Now you all can see. If you keep your mobile in vertical manner, I just read it. Then you keep it in a vertical mode. If you write something, if you want to write something. Here you will find that after each and every, I have left one or two lines. No, they are not able, they are saying zoom, zoom it, zoom the screen. Now you all can see. Yes, now they can see. Students, you all can see? Uh, 
आता नाही दिसत yes. no, initially it was seen but when you made it very all the three lines so it's not seen and now we can see. okay i'll scroll it for you ha uh, now students see one one line you see hmm? okay uh initially we have written the name of the writer right it's anand ravi jadav then we have a uh, left two lines because this is we are writing the letter yesterday ma'am has al already discussed that yes we are about to write it in a block format so everything is aligned to the left when you look at the letter you will find that there are no paragraphs everything is aligned to the left and after every paragraph i have kept two lines then i have written the address okay the address is room number d470 shri ram nagar panchavati nashik 422002 again i have left two lines blank because this is the paragraph in the black format then this is salutation dear rohit after this also i have kept two lines blank and then i have i am writing this how are you we haven't text each other for a long time i read an advertisement in daily desh dut okay these are some of the statements that we have already thought about it so i have read everything i just wanted you to get the point so whatever i have written that is not important uh, for me the important things are the procedure that you are following so here we are about to discuss the procedure so i have some of the questions we will have the questions uh, afterwards i'll ask you the question and then we can have the discussion without the presentation uh, let's go to the uh, marking scheme and then we will have the discussion because i am posing some of the questions afterwards for the sender's address and date we have half mark for the salutation we have half mark because we have collected the first point from the text from the instruction we have collected the uh, uh, second uh, information after reading the details we have the main body that means the three paragraphs and it carries two and half mark we have enough closing uh, your loving frame that is half mark and when you frame the smaller statements you will find that your grammar you may not commit any grammar mistake when you are writing in a flow and you are connecting your statements you will find that there is some kind of grammar mistake so i am uh, stop i stop sharing and then we can have the discussion now can we yes sir okay so how uh, my first question is uh, what is the first step that you will do can you please answer this was just a demonstration what is the first step whenever you are, you want to write in lecture what will be your first step one question has come sir yes ma'am from amruta how many paragraphs in the main body i have already said uh, three paragraphs are enough at least three paragraphs are enough because you are about to write only 150 words right max to max 200 words and you have to cover your whole activity sheet so it will take a lot of time for you so minimize it uh, okay, whether you are able to write it in a better way you, you can but yes you have to uh, keep a keep an eye on the watch or the time as well because you will have to clear cover the most of the point yeah just stick to the points i have discussed the point i have elaborated the first the point, point is sender's name yes sender's name they have said dilip garde but from, from where from where do you get the sender's name uh, from where you get the sender's name from where you get the sender's name so the first activity that we did is that we read the given instruction the common instruction for formal as well as the informal letter right 
so this is your first step you will be i think that right now also you may have any kind of activity sheet you may have any kind of uh, question or uh, with you just go to uh, any or you can go to the bal bharati website there where you will find the model question activity model activity sheet you can solve them in the same procedure read the given instructions the common instructions for formal and informal and then try to collect the information we have already talked about the information the writer's name the address the topic and other details yeah, they have then given to the they have given first thing we want yes, to write in the one? letters date and address they yes. have written and here everyone is written yeah sometimes what happens that whenever the students are asked, they have some of the letters in their mind so there should i i don't think that uh, you need to learn anything by heart you just uh, be ready with your skill and whatever comes in the activity sheet you have to just modify it and use it in your smaller statement so whether you are uh, actually we are uh, dealing with the elc students so whether you are from gujarati medium hindi medium or marathi medium you can print smaller statements because whenever we do something in smaller quantity uh, we are likely to commit less mistake so don't try to uh, frame a whole paragraph without any full stuff so try to uh, uh, have your statements in smaller parts so that you will be able to go for it so one question has come from rameshwar sagade is there no subject It, as it is an informal letter so there should not be any subject that's all we are not giving credit to the subject right yesterday yes. there was a sub because it was a formal letter this is a letter that you are writing to your friend writing to your uh, brother or sister writing to your parents okay so the language is different yesterday ma'am has already uh, asked you about a different language when you compare the formal letter and informal letter you will find that we are using the uh, statements that we have we uh, the statements like uh, we used to chat with each other but yesterday it was not the same yesterday we had more formal language we used passive voice in yes, uh, in a formal letter yesterday right we used uh, imperative we had the request we had imperative statements we had a uh, passive construction we had very small question there were rich ways so that was the part of formal letter but now you can write anything that comes to your mind because it's a free uh, there isn't any full stop you can convey your emotions while conveying your emotions you are giving us the message that's why there is no limit of a uh, uh, structure pattern or uh, it's open ended Yes, ma'am. There's no such question. So now you can take in your quiz. You were know, asking something, na? Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, from the instructions you have, uh, can I ask for someone? Oh, is my screen visible, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm writing something.
this is a general topic that I have selected. Okay, what information will you co collect from the G1? Students have to collect the inform information. Remember, sir has written one, okay. two, three, four. So what will you collect from this? Can you tell me what is the name of the writer? What is the name of the writer? Yeah, typing, sir. Yes. Ravi. No, not Anand. Hinali, Hinali Suresh Pate. Shivani yes, Singh. It's not. Yeah. No, it's Hitesh Suresh Patil or Hinali Suresh Patil, right? So the yeah. writer is Hitesh or Hinali Patil. So what is the address of Hitesh or Hinali? Students, now you have to write the address. Address. Okay. So, what is the address? Everyone's writing the names. Address. Address. Address of Hitesh and Hinali. What is the address of Hitesh and Hinali? The typing, sir. The typing. So the next question is, what is the topic? And the last question is, to whom is Hitesh or Hinali writing a letter? Sarvote building. Right, right. Rajat Nagar. Thane, west. Okay. And then Thane. What west. is the topic? Topic of address. Now write the topic. What is the topic of a letter? For, to watch the movie, to watch the that movie. To watch the movie. Hmm. Right. Okay. By so far we yes. are. And to whom is Mitesh Arjunali writing the letter? Elder brother, Dilip elder Gargay brother. Okay. If you are about to write a letter to elder brother, what will be your salutation? What will be your salutation? Right. We have already seen that yesterday. Let us write the salutation. What will be the salutation? Dear brother. Right, dear brother. Now let's find out something. What are the points to be considered? So here I, I'll give you the list of the points. I want to be about to given so these are some of the points that are given to you for the letter writing the name of the movie the theme of the movie why you like it or why do you recommend it to your brother and what message do you want to convey from uh, recommending this uh, movie so my question is uh, we are writing the letter right here i have some of the questions 
all the students will you have the same movie will you write about the same movie yes or no everyone will write about the same movie is it yes or is it no will you write about the same movie all the students across the maharashtra will write about the same movie do you think so yeah you say yes sir no 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 you will not write here your personal experience is to be used right so you will have to think about a movie that has inspired you a lot so there are many movies which inspire us a lot which changes the way we think we change we changes us the uh, way we live so we have to select only that movie here for later writing i am not considering the movie that is just for the entertainment you will have to select a movie that is best suitable for changing the thought process changing the life changing the environment whatever it may be there so that thing so the selection is the you will have to consider the related points according to the given uh, details then you are about to add what is the theme you see even write about the uh, theme of the movie so you have inspirational topics for informal writing informal letter writing so we cannot say that yes it is about the application it is about the live it is about uh, so and so yes uh, we have some of the limitations to the formal letter but we don't have any limitations to the informal letter because it's casual we can uh, see we can uh, walk sorry talk up on various topics with our uh, friends and uh, family members no that's why you will have to think about all the possibilities you can even use the exclamation the question mark i have deliberately not used the exclamatory sentences and the yes no type questions because this was just the beginning but yes you can add so many of the questions for example uh do you know that i am very much fond of watching the movies do you also watch movies so in guys uh what a wonderful movie it was it has really changed my uh, perspective so uh, this kind of statements can be written to you and after this you can go for the complimentary the close so in this way we can deal with it uh you have a variety just uh, make it sure that you don't learn anything by heart just be ready uh to get the skills practice everything and the so, voice is not clear hello hello sir is it audible now hello hey one minute sir let's make it on hello students you all can hear because they have Yes, sir. Uh, is it audible now? Now it's audible. Okay. Uh, I just want to tell you that uh, this is there are only three or four tactics that we can have. Collect the information from the given resources. Number one, whether you are able to do it. Uh, add on my own details. Number two, expand my theme. That means add more and more details in expanding the theme and framing the statements. Uh, very smaller statements. if you want to give the variety you can frame yes no type questions you can frame exclamatory sentences right so that can give you the variety so in this way if you prepare i think you are not likely to lose any mark because we know that as we have the marking scheme you are about to get two and two and half marks already now two and half mark for body just body what is body that if you are using all the points that are given in the uh, advertisement in the instructions and you are written to or the based paragraphs based as per your uh, efforts so out of two and half you will definitely score two marks in grammar you are about to score at least half mark because you have written something and as you have written something so nobody will say that you have a huge grammar 
So I personally will not say that yes, here I don't find any grammar because at least some kind of grammar topic is covered with covered by you. So when you think about the achievement, if you write something only then and uh, just mind it well, you are not given credit to the format of the lecture. <laughs> Everything and just the complimentary close. You will not get the marks if you don't write the body, right? So you will have to cover the whole lecture. So I hope that uh, I try to give you a lot uh, in a minimal uh, minimum time. So I wanted to give you the extra. Uh, Task, but as uh, you are on YouTube and I am in Zoom meeting, so I'm not getting the instant responses. Yes, ma'am. Over to you now. Thank you, sir. There are no questions sir, as such. They have understood. Students, you have any questions? You can uh, type it. So no question as such. Okay. Uh, can we have the discussion whether you want to discuss or something so that the student can, uh, or the discussion between the two will also be helpful for the students. Uh, discussion regarding what, sir? Regarding the informal lecture. I have already covered so many of the points. Yeah, you have covered everything. It's left aligned. Yes. It doesn't have uh, salutation. Sorry, it doesn't have subject. It doesn't have thanking you. So, all those things are not there. Yes, ma'am. And even in the demonstration, I have all, uh, deliberately kept two lines after it. So that it may be the visual impact for the learner that, okay, after every paragraph, I am expected to leave one or two lines. And there is no uh, tab or you, you have to write to the left alignment as well. And they have to write the date? Yeah, the date is already given. Uh, yeah, they have to write the date. <laughs> I think I have missed out that. Sorry, sorry for that. I have missed out the date because I just focused on uh, uh the creative part of the writer so i'm actually sorry that i forgot to mention the date after address you can uh, write the date or you can write the date as per the format but mm -hmm. here you will find that uh, for date there is no mark oh, uh, okay so for address and date there's half marks and uh, below the date leaving one line you can write below the address leaving one line you can write the date the uh, address and date you can say you have for you have half mark i have already covered it but i have not written it yes, um so always there are uh, such questions like plastic type what type of question to appear uh i think uh, we may have so many of the topics because we are about using the same uh information for formal and informal so According to me, I think uh, the topic that may be formal and informal or may relate to the social cause. It may be blood donation, right? It may be about tree plantation. Uh, it may be about the uh, book exhibition. Maybe any about any competition. Now you have so many of the competitions, so it may be regarding any competition. Uh, anything uh, we can have uh, a number of topics but when we think about the informal touch we have to be informal uh, because we have to just uh, as if we are having the communication with a family member as if we are having the communication with our friends it's a general thought so we can have a variety of statements in our informal lecture but the informal lecture we have some of the restrictions we cannot use some of the expressions. We cannot have the figurative language. We cannot go on explaining more and more. But yes, here you can explain more and more. 
we have that chance to write more and more in informal literature. If you think that uh, you can write more, you can explain in a better way. So I will ask you to uh, choose informal literature, whatever may be the topic, you can add more and more. But uh, to the, for the formal letter, you need to be very choosy. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sir, the subscription should be your loving always, your loving friend, your loving brother. Is there any other way of sub uh, subscription? Uh, we have other uh, expression of your bottom friend, right? Our yes, sir. Loving, we will have to uh, think about uh, your own ways. You, if you find that you don't want to use loving, you are dear. So I think bosom is something because we want to share so many other things to the close one. So yes, sir, you have cleared all the doubt that we have, uh, that we had. Uh, so thank you, sir, so much. Thank you, ma'am. And I request Samina, ma'am, to please propose a vote of thanks. Thank you, Renu, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes. yes. Just uh, on your video. Yes. yes. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Yes. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the members of PEMNE, I would like to thank Mr. Avinash Rade for volunteering his time and providing us with such an informative and engaging presentation on the topic of letter writing type informal. The topic explained by you will be of immense help for the students. And I hope our students will surely apply all the details explained by you. I would also like to appreciate the constant efforts of Mr. Nadeem Khan for providing the necessary technical support to MNET. Many thanks to the host and convener, Mrs. Renu Dhotre, for organizing the series of webinars Learn From Home through the planet platform of MNET. These webinars have been enabled, have enabled the students to stay updated with their knowledge and can be utilized by them. I would like to extend our thanks to the participants for effectively participating in the Learn From Home series webinars held till date. We look forward to such enthusiasm from our participants in the future as well. Once again, a huge thanks to everyone. Have a great evening. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you, Samina, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Avinesh, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Renu, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you Nadim, sir. sir. And thank you, Ashok, sir. I saw him today. Thank, you. thank you. Yeah, Ashok, sir, was present today. He's so there. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. So, can I? So, I'm ending the show.